use this top five dynamic pivot chart next time when you're creating a report or a dashboard and impress your colleagues and boss. To make the dynamic top five chart for your dashboards, step one is to set up your data and insert a pivot table. It's a good idea to keep your data in a table so that if there is new data coming in, you will just have to refresh the pivot tables without having to change any data source settings. So we'll say insert pivot table. Here, since we are interested in the salesperson's top five, I'll put salesperson into the row label area and amount into the values area. So we will see all the salespeople and their values. We would like to see this information dynamically by a geography. So I'll right click on the geography and add it as a slicer. Let's quickly adjust some of the settings of pivot table before we jump into the top five calculation. So first up, I'm going to to the design tab and disable the grand totals. Now let's quickly test this. If I go to Australia, I'm seeing these people, but you can see that we have actually dropped some of the names. We would like to see all the names all the time. That way it is easy for us to compare in a consistent way. So I'll right click on one of the names, go to field settings and from here layout and print. I'll enable the show items with the no data option. This will give all the names. Now next we'll right click on one of the values, go to sort, select largest to smallest. So the higher amounts show up on the top, lower amounts go to the bottom, blanks will appear at the end. Right next to your pivot table, set up an area for the top five chart. We will just say name sales, sales within bracket top five. And then we will use the equal to, to refer to the pivot value. Just drag it once and bring it down. How many our salespeople are there? Next up for the top five, we just need to refer to this value for the first five cells. We don't need anything at the bottom. Let's quickly adjust the formatting of these cells. And now we have everything we need to create the graph. Select all of this and go to insert. Let's insert a 2D bar graph. Now notice that in the original Gigi is at the top, whereas in the bar graph, it she, her name shows up at the bottom. So we will quickly readjust this so that the name goes to the top. Select the names on this. Press control one to open format options. From here, enable the categories in reverse order so that the name goes to the top. While we are on the formatting options, we only need to see the top five sale once. Whereas there's two bars appearing here and one bar there. So we'll select these orange bars and then set the series overlap to 100%. What this will do is it will take the orange bar and put it right on top of the blue bar so that the blue one is no longer visible. We will also adjust the gap width to be 25%. We will make these blue colors match the orange color, but a dull shade to indicate they're not top five. So I'll select the blue ones, go to shape fill and pick a dull shade of the orange. At this point, our dynamic top five chart is technically done. I can actually click on a geography. I'll see the names and then everything appearing properly, but it is not as presentable as we would like, especially for a dashboard. So I'll teach you some key techniques for making this look really good on a dashboard style report. First, we will address the chart title. It's a good idea to put both title and a caption that tells a compelling story. We can say the chart title could be sales report. Next, we will calculate the caption. For the caption, we would like to print a message that goes along the lines of top five salespeople contribute to 60% of the sales. So for that, we need to actually calculate that proportion. We can use a simple sum formulas to add up the values and then calculate the proportion as top five sales divided by all sales. We'll get some sort of a fraction here, like 62%. Now let's generate the caption text. So we'll print that as top five sales persons bring in and then ampersand of sales. Now we wanted to read this as top five salespeople bring in 62% of sales, but it would say 0.6199 something. So we need to turn that into percentage format. This is where the text formula is useful and then specify what format I want it. I want it in zero percentage format. All good, we got our caption. Let's just add that to the chart now. Before we do that, we would also like to take this legend and move it to the top corner so that it's readable. We will work on some of these adjustments now. We'll move the title here left align it and make it bold. To add another text area to the chart, go to insert, 
click on shapes and select text box and then draw a text box right on top of the chart click this text box go to formula bar say equal to so the text box should be equal to my calculation here let's quickly adjust the formatting of this as well adjust some of these colors change the slicer to be a neutral theme and finally our dashboard chart is ready and then move them to my output sheet here so now we can kind of click on anyone any country to see who are the top five people what is their representation of the total sales i can select a single country or i can click and drag to pick a multiple set of geographies to see the report this provides a dynamic and compelling narrative you can go ahead and even add some more additional bells and whistles to this chart let me know in the comments what else you would add to this Check out this tutorial to learn how to make a dashboard using pivot tables in just 15 minutes. For something more on charting, check out my recent tutorial on how to make lollipop charts. Yummy!